Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I had the Holy Stone 720G. Um, waiting to get my hands on this thing. This has so many features, it's absolutely crazy. So this is a GPS drone, which means it basically will um, hover and stay in its spot. It has a follow me feature, a point of interest, which means it'll circle, point of interest. Um, electronic stabilization, 4K on the video. I mean, this thing does like so much. It's absolutely crazy. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio signal on it. So, I mean, it's, it, it's packed, it's packed. So let's open up and see what everything inside is. And nice and sealed in plastic. Now let's open up on the side. Okay, and then that's basically the box, so you can kind of like see all sides. And you can tell how compact the box is. It's not going to be like a super big drone. Okay. So it comes in a plastic sealed case. Okay. So it comes in its own storage case, which is great because it makes it ultra portable and the only reason why I love this already. It feels almost kind of like a, uh, like a suede, but. All right, so that is everything that you get in this little, uh, little box here. So it's got some travel foam on here. And in here, in this pocket you get your your typical caution, your instruction manual, so it's a little on the thick side, but it's got different languages in there. It's got your caution battery, and I think that was it. And then on this side, we have, oh, looks like this little plastic cover for the, uh, the lens came off. During shipping, but looks like that popped back in. So that is your remote and your antennas. So that's pretty cool. Then this has a box of accessories. Let's see what comes in here. So this looks like it's probably gonna be the battery, I presume. So that is your battery. We've got a little foam protectant on there. Take that off. And then it has your little USB. Your screwdriver to replace the propellers in case we have any problems. And that is the USB charger. And it doesn't come with a charging block. They can use anything you have for like your cell phone, your laptop, your desktop. So let me get this basically unwound. They got this tied really tight on here. And we're going to get this battery charger while we go over, over everything else. My goodness. Okay. So then the battery charge is right here. So we're going to plug that in. It looks like it's a USB-C if I'm correct. And then we're just going to plug into one of our any day, any charging blocks we have over here. Okay. So that's pretty neat. It gives you a kind of like a progress bar of how it's uh, how it's charging. So we'll leave that off on the side. And then this is the drone itself, which is ultra compact, and I love how the wings fold in and on this wings. The uh, the, the propellers. So oh, let's get this. Get the bottom one pulled out first on both sides. I'll pull this one out. I'll pull this one out. So that is your whole drone. And then it has a little cover for your, let's 
see how this comes out. I'll press and then, and then it pops out. Okay. So if you watch how I took that off and put it back on, you basically are stabilizing the gimbal, the camera, into this lens. So you're kind of putting it on this way. And you're going to be tilting it forward so it catches up underneath. And then you're going to press it to hold it there. So again, the reverse of this is kind of like press. And then kind of like gently pull down on this. And that's going to remove the protective cover. And then that is your gimbal. So you get basically almost a full range of motion from your gimbal. So basically the camera will go up and down and it'll turn with the drone. So, and then with the, it has an automatic gimbal. So it's gonna help stabilize it as well as the video stabilization. So you're gonna get a nice smooth picture. And then on the opposite side is gonna be where you are gonna be plugging in your, uh, your battery. So we're gonna put that down and we are gonna read through the manual and see what everything we need. Oh, let's go over to remote a little bit really quick. So you have your basic, your joy stick functions here. Um, you have your lock, power on. Uh, that's your, obviously your screen up here. I don't think that opens, but we'll take a look at that later. Uh, you have your high speed, you have a camera function, and then you have these two little uh, motion buttons on the side probably going to be for your uh, for your gimbal and your camera um, and then you have your little handles there to make that controller a little bit easier to control and to handle and you have your battery compartment back here and it takes two AA batteries so we're going to go get those review the manual let this battery charge up a little bit more and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're outside with the HS720 and this is the carrying case. Like I said, everything goes in here. Nice and compact. Um, make sure you read the instruction manual from cover to cover just to make sure that you know all the functions of this, this drone. It does a lot, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so this is your drone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna emplace the S the SD card, which you want to make sure that you use a, a high class GPS card. I like using this, the SanDisk, and it's basically going to go in this way. And you'll know you have the orientation right when it clicks in pretty good. And let me just, uh, just scoop that card out. So it'll give you an idea of how, where that notch is, and then it goes in here. And then just pushes in okay and then let's get the other control arm out and then on this side we'll do the same let's get this arm out first then this one second okay and then this is your camera guard so you basically are just kind of like squeezing down on it tilting forward and then that will protect your gimbal or your camera so it has stabilization, has a little lens cover on there. So I think we'll, we'll peel that off if I can get my fingers in there. Okay, so that is free. And then make sure your battery is completely charged, especially for first use. And then your battery goes in this way and it clicks in. And then to release it, you would go like that. So. And then I'll give you a quick indication of what your battery is sitting at. And then this is your remote control. And on the back, it has a battery compartment. So you're opening that. And it takes two AA. I like using the uh, Amazon Basics. So that goes in. And that's kind of like your handles. And then these are your antennas and then these are going to be your controls and that is going to that button basically is your auto return home button um, this is your power switch and then you have your camera button then your high and your low speed and i believe this button here is what's going to control the the angle of your camera 
we'll get that going here in a second and then this right here top is going to be what holds your phone in a place so put the two antennas back there and we'll be able to mount the phone so what you're looking for um, to hook it up to your phone you want to go through your manual and we are going to be looking for this page here and it, that's basically going to download your um, your app but it's a Ophelia flight app in the Google Play Store for Android phones so we're gonna be basically bring this open and we are gonna look for Ophelia Ophelia fly I think is what I was looking for so we're gonna be looking for that one right there Ophelia fly for Holy Stone we're gonna hit install and then it's gonna install that app Okay, initializing. And we're going to open the app. So it's going to be looking to calibrate. Um, I agree. Sign in or sign up. Back. So let me sign up. We'll be right back. Okay, so after the sign up, uh, sign up process, hit enter device. Um, I'll hit while using this device. So it's saying it's not connected. So. What we're going to do is we are going to turn on your drone. The power button is back here. Okay, so that means it's ready to go. So we'll let that sit there. And then on your phone, drag your window down and you're going to be looking for the, the Wi-Fi. And we're just going to do a quick refresh here. And we're going to be looking for the Holy Stone GIM. We're going to click on that. It's going to be connecting. And then it's going to be looking for an internet connection on your phone. Obviously, you're not going to have one. So, uh, connect, always connect. So, and then that is your, your camera. Give you kind of an idea. And then next, we are going to connect the remote. So, we're going to turn on the remote. So it's basically it's connected and it's going to start calibrating and looking for all your GPS connectors on that. And then on this, place the drone horizontal and rotate it 360 for about three circles. So basically it's going to want you to rotate the, the drone around. So that's two and that's three. And that's just to help calibrate its position so it's saying geomagnetic calibration so it's like looking for all the satellite connectors all the satellite connections rather I think we're gonna do one more spin okay just to help it along Now, it does it take a quick minute for it to find all the GPS satellites? All right, so on the screen, I already did the, the calibration because it took a little bit of a, a learning curve. But basically on the screen, it's going to tell you to rotate your drone. So basically what you're doing is you're spinning it this way three times. And then on the screen, it'll change into a different mode, telling you to calibrate it this way. So you're turning the head basically facing up, and you're rotating it this way three times. So a little weird, but that's how the calibration process goes. And then basically, um, it's saying that it's connected, and it's showing it's connected to 10 satellites up there. So you're basically ready to go. And to unlock your motors... You basically you're hitting this let me get these pieces out of the way you're hitting this unlock button and then that's going to unlock your motors and then uh you are basically ready for flight and on your camera mode you got a couple different settings on here so this basically will take a uh 
basically a photo of whatever you're filming. And if you turn this, you can rotate it, and then you can start recording uh, your flight. So we're going to see how okay, well so that does. Different camera recording modes is you have a... So when you have a little camera, it'll take pictures when you hit that button. So that'll take a picture for you. Hit into camera mode, that will start recording for you and I'll show that it's saving to the SD card that's on board. And then this switch here activates your camera so you can have your tilt and your run up. So we'll just put it like slightly down for takeoff. And then this locks and unlocks your, your drone and you're gonna be ready for takeoff. So basically uh, this will take off on landing and then this is gonna be your home button in case it gets out of sight, out of control, you hit that and it'll bring it back to your location. So a quick hit of this will rotate your motors. So that's ready to go. And then you basically hit this button and it goes up. And then here's your drone and you can see the camera in motion. And we're gonna record. And then we'll, uh, we'll include this in the video. And then thing really goes up pretty far. And then we'll uh, Tilt the camera down and up. So that's looking down. And I'll put the footage in a video. But you can see how absolutely stable that is once it's hooked up to the GPS. And you can move it back and forth. I'll bring it up higher. And then you can see how high we are in the video. I'll bring it back over to house. So that's right over to house. And we'll bring it back. And we'll bring it down. And we'll step back a little bit out of the way. And we'll bring in for a landing on the deck. Go. Brian from Garage Mahal. Uh, super easy to use GPS drone. And like I said, once you read through the manual, it wants to go through the calibration, which is a little, little tricky. But again, as long as you get that rotation and follow exactly what it's saying on the screen, it should be pretty simple. Anyway, Brian from Garage Mahal, that's your HS20, 720. Be safe out there.